good. Uh, do I have like a score I can put up? I'm gonna try and do that quickly while they get ready. I have a riskometer. I don't think that's super useful here. Shouldn't they be getting medals? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, medals would be at the end. Uh-oh. Oh, Squiddy breaking the rules. Um, it's quite the Dorian outfit there. All right, Squiddy gonna grab a drumstick and golden cutlass. We see the cutlass once more. Gonna eat that and then go back for the cookies too. That's pretty wise. So got everything for pretty cheap. Or essentially got a free cutlass. All right, Mizmi gonna be, um, maybe lining up this barrel. Is that the plan? I don't know what's going on here with Mizmi. All right, maybe just gonna be getting a leprechaun. Very good. Solid leprechaun milk here. Uh, problem with Dorian and leprechauns is they're a little awkward to farm. All right, Squiddy already down to one three though. Oh, we just got Mizmi hopping down there as well. Very good. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, just standard Dorian race to start. Uh, and then we'll be having our fun categories after that. Nice use of the ghost there to get a little boost for Mizmi. It is a little awkward always to, uh, essentially Dorian will jump the two squares if Dorian can jump the two squares. Um, but if you can position an enemy who is not attacking in the way, you can just jump one square. And sometimes that's necessary to get yourself on the right parity. You can see a little bit of frog sock buffering there uh, by Mizmi. And gonna be checking this chest and oh my goodness, Squiddy really missed out on that chest. Right. Gonna snag that pack of holding, be careful. Get a little complicated, but yeah, this is um a pretty good weapon. Turns out, City and Axe. So if you're squiddy right now, you gotta push and get yourself a good weapon in this boss. Alright. Alright, taking trap doors. Mizmi is gaining, and Squiddy once again dropping the the flawless. So Squiddy currently has just a two damage cutlass. Oh, nice use of use of the shove monster to pick up that Nazar charm. You're gonna see a lot of creative ways to move with this character, which is something I like. Of course, when you have dash attack weapons, that lets you move just one square. So finding all the ways that you can move just one square, uh, shove monsters included. Very cool. All right, nice kill there from Mizmi. And you can see lining up there with the dash. Mizmi is really close now to Squiddy. But Squiddy is maintaining this lead. It's quite impressive, actually, given how much better Mizmi's build is. Mizmi even has vision that Squiddy doesn't have. All right. Very good. And, uh... Yeah, Squiddy now finally getting the Flawless, and it's a Titanium Rapier, so what a sigh of relief that must have been. And Mizmi just gonna turn off the boots and stomp. Don't do that too much or you'll get a red card. Okay. And, yeah, Squiddy maintaining their... Oh, the wall pig position for that sarcophagus. You love to see it. Okay, and, uh, yeah, Mizmi's still trailing here. Just can't seem to reel, uh, reel Squiddy in. Squiddy is going fast, but Squiddy also has to be really cognizant of their health. They're currently at half, half health. That shield spell should help a lot, though. The wall pig. 
Okay, that that fork two was a little long there for Squiddy. Watch out. Oh my goodness. I think they got wall pigged and picked up the pixie on the same beat. Oh, and zone four is awkward. There we go. Thankfully, the, uh, the pickaxe can make tier two walls not disappear, in which case you don't always break two walls every time. And a beautiful use of that shield spell. And, uh, gonna push on to the zone four boss. Miss me one floor behind. I don't know how Squiddy didn't get teleported there. Squiddy, like, killed the pink... Did anyone else see that? Oh, was it just not a teleport? Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, QP. It was really strange. They did get teleported, just not very far. That was very kind. Okay. Oh, that... You can see that that um, cheese was really tempting there for Mizmi, but it would just take too long to get. At an early potion, or an early, a late potion here for Squiddy. A uh, really nice pickup too. So Squiddy needs to just go completely ham here. Just follow the uh, follow the compass. Now Dorian does start with a compass, so you've got mapping right away as well. This character is traditionally extremely fast, and not just traditionally, also currently. Character is always really fast. <laughs> And this is it right here. Is red team going to go up 2-0? Yes, they are. Uh, and well done, Squiddy. I'll put these up for now, and then I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to add something as they gain their points. GG's. Miss me here coming into Coral Rift. Uh, this should be pretty easy as well. Oh, I never thought about attacking like that. That's smart. Now, Dorian is going to be our side character for uh, Condor XII. So if you want to see more Dorian racing, you will in the coming weeks once uh, Condor XII starts. XII. All right. This is crazy. Everybody's going super fast. So GG's on that race as well. Um, red team. And well played blue team as well. Keeping it close. 